Now I'm just going to say it. If he gets the fit right, any man at any height or any weight can wear anything, which I know sounds like it contradicts a lot of my advice that you need to dress for your body type or that you need to dress for your height. But notice the keyword I slipped into my earlier statement. If he gets the right fit. That's right. The F word fit. If you get the right fit, you can wear pretty much anything. Example, let's take the double breasted suit. Now, most men are told to stay away from the double breasted suit for a few reasons. First up, you got overlays of fabric that build up bulk in the torso and can make you look wider, which if you're not so tall can make you look shorter. In addition, you got all those extra buttons all over the place, which again, add bulk and can make you look stumpy. And of course, let's not forget about the lapels. On a double breasted jacket, we see peak lapels, which are wider. Again, adds to the width. But here's the thing, even if you're five foot three, you could still make a few adjustments and pull off the double breasted suit look. First up, go with a lightweight worsted wool and a dark color. If it fits you well, you're not going to have any bulk issues. Next up, instead of going with a six button double breasted, go with a four button double breasted. On a not so tall guy, the four buttons are going to be perfect. And with wide lapels, you know to avoid them. So just find a jacket with thinner lapels. You see how the right fit, the right proportions, the right silhouette and cut make all the difference. Now, perhaps the easiest mistake for any guy to fix to dress a bit taller is to simply hem your trousers, hem your jeans properly. Now, right here, I'm showing you a full break, a half break, a quarter break, and no break. This pertains to dress slacks, chinos, flannels, any type of trouser that has a nice drape to it. Where the material meets your shoe, you've got options on how it's going to look. Now, if you're a not so tall guy, I'm going to recommend that you go with no break or a quarter break. If you're close to average height, going with a quarter break or a half break is good. And if you're a really tall guy, you got the opposite issue and you probably want to go with a full break. Now, of course, you can hem your trousers however you want. But my thought process here is you want to keep your socks covered when you're walking. And taller men in general are going to have a longer stride. And if they've got too short of a hem, it looks like the trousers are too short on them. The opposite problem with the shorter guy. If there's too much material bunching up, it looks like the pants are too big on him. Now with jeans, you got a little bit more wiggle room here. In fact, I like to see a little bit of bunching whether a guy is five foot two or he's seven foot two. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was a clothing company out there that made everything for not so tall guys so that the proportions would be correct. Everything would fit you like it should. Well, gents, of course, I know of that company. They're today's sponsor, Peter Manning. This is a clothing brand made specifically for the not so tall man who wants to look stylish and is tired of paying the tailor tax. Gents, you know what I'm talking about. You go out there and you find this great looking jacket, you find this shirt and you realize, oh, the sleeves are way too long. The length of the jacket is way too long. Gents, you don't have to worry about that at Peter Manning. They understand that there are 40 million men out there that are five foot eight or shorter. Gents, whether you're looking for t-shirts, whether you're looking for knitwear, if you're just looking for a pullover sweatshirt, maybe a quarter zip, gents, Peter Manning has you covered. And let's talk about their jackets. Again, these are made for the not so tall guys. So you want a bomber jacket that actually fits you like a bomber jacket should. They've got you covered over at Peter Man. And as you can see here, I got my hands on their best selling Carnegie coat. I have to say, I absolutely love this water resistant jacket that also has a soft zip out lining. It comes in a variety of colors and man, it looks good. And so when you go through the Peter Manning website, what you're going to find is this is all classic clothing that you can mix and match. Everything in there is made to help you look your best. So gents, if you're a not so tall guy looking to build his interchangeable wardrobe and you want the classics, you want the pieces that are going to last you years, invest in Peter Manning. Use that link in the description of today's video. Go over to Peter Manning, use it or lose it to get the best deal on the web. Awesome company, proud to support them. But getting back to trousers, what about cuffs. Well, in general, not so tall guys should avoid cuffs. Now, the common wisdom here is that shorter guys should avoid cuffs. Taller guys should go with cuffs. But again, that's the easy route and it doesn't explain the real issue. It's really about proportions. You see, most trousers when they're cuffed are proportioned to a regular average height. The proportions of the cuff, therefore, are too much for a shorter guy and not enough for a taller guy. So, the way around this, especially if you want to wear cuffs, is to adjust the size based off your height. If you're five foot four, go with a cuff about three quarters to one and a quarter inches. If you're six foot four, you want to go with a cuff that is one and a quarter to almost two inches in size. You see how this works? Now let's talk about sleeve length. So there's a couple of things here. Obviously, you can't add fabric to most shirts. So you need to buy something that fits you well 
or is a little bit too large. I say a little bit too large because you can either adjust the length of a sleeve or most people are just going to put up with the sleeve just being a little bit too long. However, if the sleeves are way too long on a sleeve or a shirt, you can take this to a tailor and they can shorten the sleeve. It's not always cheap, especially on jackets, but it will make the garment look a lot better. Now, this next issue is harder to spot, but once you start looking for it, you can't unsee it. And that is the size of collars and pockets when it comes to proportions. Now, I mentioned earlier that most manufacturers make things to a model size. Well, they do this with shirt collars, they do this with pockets, but the problem here is when they make smaller sizes, but they put on collars that are too large proportionally or pockets that are too large proportionally. Unfortunately, what this does is it makes the piece of clothing look like it was made for a kid. Now, I was talking about jackets and length and how you got to be careful with this. This is true. It's a big deal because a bomber jacket should be at the waist. It shouldn't go down near the buttocks. Now, you're going to find that longer jackets in general, if you're not so tall guy, you want to avoid them, especially if they are getting near the knee or start to go below the knee. And again, I know you may love long jackets. And if you find one that is cut to you, or maybe you get it custom made, you can pull it off. But for most longer jackets, if you're a not so tall guy, you're going to want them to end at about mid thigh. And if it's a jacket with an elastic, again, like a bomber, you're going to want that to go around the midsection and not have a lot of excess fabric that's bunching up and making it like you got a belly or something. Now, what about lines? What about patterns? Okay. So let me show you two images right here. Which line do you think is longer? Now, if you've seen this before, no cheating, but for those of you that haven't, yeah, it, what that one over on the left looks longer, but the reality is they are the same length. So why does one look longer? Because it's an optical illusion. When it comes to lines, when it comes to patterns, our eyes can see things or see them in a way that's not actually true. So if you know this, you want to use it to your advantage. In general, horizontal lines are going to make you look wider. When you look wider in general, you aren't going to look as tall. So for not so tall guys, they're going to want to avoid a lot of horizontal lines, which you will see sometimes in sweaters or you'll see in patterns. You'll also see it sometimes. Hey, if you choose a belt that has a high contrast, that right there is a line that's breaking up your entire silhouette. So that is something that you want to avoid. Go for a belt that has no contrast that matches your trousers and at least lengthens the leg line. In the same way, vertical lines can create an illusion of height. Why is this? Because it allows the eyes to go up and down while following a path. Now, of course, vertical lines don't make you taller, but they give the appearance of height. And if you understand this, that's why you want to use this to your advantage. But there are limitations to this and it can backfire. And what I mean by this is the size of the patterns. So right here, we've got pinstripes. Over here, we've got chalk stripes. Both of these are stripes that go up and down, but one of them is going to be better for the not so tall guy. And that's going to be the smaller one. Understand the size of the pattern makes a difference. The same thing with shirts. We've got thin stripes right here. And then over here, you've got bangle stripes. You've got these really thick stripes, which proportionally just look off on a not so tall guy. Now, am I saying that you can't pull off any type of horizontal line? No, of course you can pull off a Glenn check. I think this is a great pattern. It's a bit more muted. Although some, you see some Glenn checks out there that are more pronounced, but what you probably want to avoid are large window panes, especially those that have a high contrast. Am I saying a short man can't pull off tartan or he should never try Madras? No, those are great fabrics. You can have fun with them, but just understand what you're bringing into your wardrobe and don't overdo it. The same thing with baggy clothing. It's becoming more in fashion. Am I saying that you have to avoid all baggy clothing? No, you don't, but it's not going to do you any favors, especially when it comes to pants, when it comes to shorts, when it comes to oversized jackets, again, they, they're in and out of fashion and you can make the choice for yourself. If you're a fashionista, why are you even watching this video? But I think for the majority of men, they want to go with clothing that fits their body a little bit closer. But with pants, with shorts, when they're baggy, it gets really bad. And the reason being is because how low the crotch point hangs. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, hey, I need all that room because, you know, I'm packing down there. Okay, if that's your excuse, then go for it. But I think the majority of men understand that when you've got that lower crotch point, what it does is it shortens your leg line and it just makes you look stumpy. It just, yeah, it's not a good look for you. Next up, let's talk about shoes. So for not so tall, not so big guys, you want to avoid big bulky 
shoes. And you're going to see them out there. They come in and out of fashion. High tops are a good example. I like high tops. And if you play basketball and you're a shorter guy, wear them for support. But understand off the basketball court, those aren't really doing you any favors. Maybe go, you want to go for a lower cut shoe, maybe find a more, you know, go for a dress shoe that has a delicate build. Now, a lot of guys do like boots. And I think that that is the exception. Again, don't go overly bulky on the boots, but one great thing about boots and shoes with heels in general is that they do give you a bit of extra height, sometimes an inch to over two inches. Now, does this mean I'm saying go out there and get platform shoes? I'm not going to recommend them for most men, but I know some of you guys really like them. And if you love platform shoes, you can let me know down in the comments. I would say it's really about how do you feel? Confidence. And there are tons of examples. I know Prince loved his platform shoes. He loved a lot of other things. But, uh, you know, if it, if it makes you feel good, if you feel confident wearing those, I'd say go for it. Now, this next tip has nothing to do with clothing, but it does have to do with simply how you stand. Roll those shoulders back. Nothing wrong with putting your chest out, standing a bit straighter. I know a lot of you guys were deep into our phones. We're always hunched over. You don't want to have that look. It just really makes you look even smaller and shorter. And that's why I love it when a man wears a sports jacket, wears a suit, because it forces you to have better posture. Now, some of you guys are saying, well, what about my grooming? Can grooming make me look taller, especially my hair? Giving it a bit of volume. Are there certain hairstyles that make me look taller? Guys, I got you covered in this video right here. Yeah, I'm going to link to a whole video in which I break out different hairstyles that can add height, that make you look good. And uh, yeah, adding some volume definitely does make a difference. Guys, I cover it in this video. Boom, right here.